Summer camp has become synonymous with the season for countless kids across Southern California. But not everybody gets a chance to go to camp. Now a local nonprofit group is looking to change that. Gail Anderson is live in Santa Monica with how you can help. Gail, good morning. That's why you need to come out here Sunday. We love the Santa Monica Pier. It's quiet now, but Sunday, gates open at 9.30. Your doors open, whatever you want to open. The place will look like this. Take a look. Pedal on the Pier. This is a fundraiser to make sure youngsters will be able to attend summer camp. Joyce Heyer Robinson, this is your eighth year of pulling this together. Yeah, it is. Eighth year, um, and we're really excited. On Sunday, this place is going to be popping. <laughs> How many bikes will be out here Sunday? There'll be 100 plus bikes and 500 riders and about 1,000 guests. Uh, people just having a good time and it's a big party. The goal, fundraising goal? $1 million. Ooh, okay, well, at, we want to show people why it's so important. Take a look at this footage. These are the youngsters. We kind of took a trip up to camp, uh, Ubuntu. And it's just beautiful, and this is what the money pays for. You've got kids doing all, they're not playing checkers. No, they're definitely not playing <laughs> checkers. They go from the second they course. get there, they do not stop. And it also changes the lives, not just of the youngsters, but of the camp counselors as well. Uh, the gentleman who's in charge of that ropes course, listen to what he has to say. Jose Gamez, listen. I live in Watts, and it's nice to see these kids when I'm driving down the street with these shirts on, and they're so much nicer to each other. It is beautiful that these kids have so much good, good things to say to each other, as opposed to before when it was just nothing but uh, bad things. It's very important for these donations to come in. Every dollar goes to a kid at camp, and it's beautiful what we're doing with these donations and showing these kids that they can have fun. Boy, that's getting it straight from the folks who work with the youngsters. He's explaining just how important the money is and, and the lives it's changing. In addition to his, did you plan on that when all of this got started? No, actually, we really didn't. We sort of we came up with this idea that we just want to bring a lot of kids to camp, and from and it just sort of organically grew into really what it is today. And now we're basically investing in communities. Mm. So we're working with children, we're working with families, we're working with schools, we're working with community activists, and it's all about sort of leveraging our camp programming and using it as a vehicle for personal empowerment and social change. All right, now, here's how you register. Give them the website. I'm saying the door is open, but the gate's open. The place opens Sunday at 9.30. Exactly. We have, uh, we'll have tickets uh, for party at the pier, and uh, you go to pedalonthepier.com. All right, we're going to talk more about this, and um, I hope you're dressed to get on the bike. We're going to get a little exercise here in a little bit. Again, Pedal on the Pier here in beautiful Santa Monica. More next hour. Summer camp season is almost here, and a local nonprofit trying to make them more accessible for underserved children. KTLA's Gail Anderson live in Santa Monica to tell us about a fundraiser there uh, and how you can help. Gail, good morning. This ought to be a clue. People pedaling on the Santa Monica Pier. Therefore, you would call this pedal on the pier. Get it? Uh, yeah. Okay, a little early for jokes. Yes, we're getting you ready for Sunday's event. Now, we've got folks out here this morning to give you an idea how beautiful and wonderful it's going to be Sunday. But take a look at this footage when um, everything gets underway Sunday, starting at 930. Uh, David Moss, there will be almost 100 spin bikes out here, as well as people. There will be. There'll be 100 spin bikes, 500 riders, and oh. probably 1,000 people or so. Now, I've read this is a five-hour event. It is. It's a five-hour event. The uh, kickoff's 11 a.m., and it actually ends at 4 p.m. Now, for folks wondering where does the money go, we want to show you a little bit of footage for the camp uh, that they're spinning for. There are all kinds of outdoor as well as a little boy spinning, uh, spinning, a little boy, uh, boy zip lining. I love him. So courageous. As well as indoor activities. Um, this is for, as you describe in the website, underserved youngsters who can go to camp. How do you compete with iPads and iPhones and all this technology where kids aren't really getting outside and playing. Well, that's the point. Most of the kids that we're working with are 
uh, mostly dealing with just their iPads. That's all they've got going on. So we bring them up into the mountains. We get them into an uncomfortable, different environment, something out of their comfort zone. And all the activities are really designed to bring them together, to challenge them, to cause them to communicate in ways that they're not used to communicating. Uh, the activities are really community building events uh, in disguise. Ah, sneaky. Yes. And it's working. It's definitely working. Uh, the kids get up to camp and, and they forget about their iPads and their phones because there's so much activity going on that they've never experienced before. All right. We're also going to talk about later this morning the other impact this has on when they get home and how that environment changes as well. Again, we're getting ready for a pedal on the pier this Sunday, a fundraiser for youngsters so they can get to camp this summer. More next hour. Summer camp is a rite of passage for a lot of kids, but not all of them have an opportunity to go. Local nonprofit is stepping in to help, and you can too. KTLA's Gail Anderson live in Santa Monica to explain how. Gail, good morning. Yes, we're getting ready for Pedal on the Pier Sunday here on the Santa Monica Pier. You see some folks here that will be representing uh, refreshments for all the folks who will be sweating and carrying on. That's uh, Bulletproof Grill will be here. The host of the event is comedian Ben Gleave. I understand that you help with the fundraising by uh, doing almost anything. I will do anything to embarrass myself. I'll ruin myself for the kids. So people have put snow cones on me for $1,000. Oh. If you come out, you donate 100 bucks on the website, pillowonthepier.com, you can come out unlimited food, you drink, you dance, and then you can do stuff to me that makes me regret my life choices. And uh, not regretting life choices, the folks you see in that footage there pedaling on the pier, uh, there will be lots of bikes here. Uh, they're pedaling for this. Take a look. The camp that they're fundraising for provides all kinds of activities. There are yoga classes that go on there. There are also uh, dance classes that happen there. And there are the counselors whose lives have changed. For example, listen to Dwight Terry of Inglewood. Listen. Um, this camp has changed my life in so many ways that I, 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 I can't even think of. It changed the kids and, um, you know, on watch life. I see when, whenever I go to watch, I see the kids is, uh, wearing like the camp's t-shirts. They're um, enthused. They always tell me how, you know, the camp has, like, you know, improved their grades, um, how it made them a better person, how they show love in like the, um, you know, their um, community, their neighborhood. And um, um, it's like a, a great, great place. Like, I wouldn't change it for nothing. Like, he says he wouldn't trade it for anything else. I want you to explain to folks there are actually two camps going on here. Is that right, Derek? Yeah, we have our, well, two programs, one camp. It's called Camp Ubuntu, a South African philosophy that, represent, philosophy that represents community and togetherness. We and that's have, some of the footage we've been showing. That's up at Lake Hughes. Yes, and then we have a second camp that we do in Watts at Markham Middle School called Camp Ubuntu Watts. It's a day camp. 200 kids a day, all kinds of amazing programming. And uh, you have another idea in mind. Yes, well, part of the reason that we need to raise this money is because we want to expand our programming, Camp Abu to Watts, to do weekends in Watts. And that way, we will be able to have a consistent presence in the kids' lives, which is something the community is asking for, and it's something that we really want to be able to do. Well, Y'all take on a big project, don't you? Again, pedal on the pier. It's fun. It's a great way to get some exercise, and you're helping the community. Oh, we want to shout out and thank the folks with the bikes. Stages bikes. Yes. Yes, they're the most amazing bikes. We love them. All right, come see them and ride one Sunday. Pedal on the pier.